Hey everybody, there's not many videos uh, online about changing out a Dodge Viper fuel filter. I found one, the guy's on his back, he's looking up, up underneath the car, it's very disorientating. Um, and, and so I thought I would do one while I'm doing mine. Um, on 95 year models, 96, now anytime you're working on an older car, you have to be very careful about the fuel lines, right? Because they're old and they could break. On Dodge Vipers, uh, the fuel uh, pump is here in, inside the tank and the lines come off the fuel pump module. And so there's not much distance from the fuel pump to the filter uh, in that line. It's kind of hard to get to, so you want to be careful when you're doing it so that you don't pull too much on that line trying to get this off because uh, you'll break the line. Then you have to drop the tank, and that's a nightmare for many people. So uh, kind of a little guidance here. This is the outlet. This is the old filter. It's off. Um, I would try to show you it on the car, but again, it'd be confusing because you're trying to get up, up underneath uh, the car, and so it's best to show it while it's off. This connection is the outlet. This is going to your fuel rail on the car, on the engine. This is the inlet that's coming from the fuel pump, okay? Now, this fitting here, this is the new pump, or sorry, the new filter. This is the inlet, this is the outlet. That line is gonna look just like that, okay? So it goes into here and it snaps. It snaps onto the shoulder, okay? The best way to do this, you don't need any special tools online or anything like that. As that line comes into here, you're going to want to take that fuel line and you're going to grab it really hard, pull, or, or sorry, insert first into the filter that you're trying to take off. When you do that, when you've got it pulled down into here, go ahead and take your fingers and collapse that down. Collapse that down. Okay, you're going to want to push into it. Keep it bolted to the frame if it, if it helps you. Because what I ended up doing was taking it off and pulling it down very slightly so I can get my hands on it like this. Pulled the, pulled the line into the filter, depress it, then work it out. Now it's not just going to come right out. You're going to have to work it a little bit to get out. But the goal again is to use as much force as is necessary to get that line out without too much. Because you certainly don't want to break that line. And once you do that, of course, it'll slide right out. And uh, the installation's opposite. You're just going to, on that part, you don't have to depress this. You're just going to take the line, and you're going to pop it until it snaps. And obviously the same on this side. Uh, bolt it to the frame. And then once you're done, obviously you're going to want to turn the key on, energize the key, and double check. Make sure there's no fuel leak here or here. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I'm not going to say it's super easy, but it's also not super hard if you're even mechanically inclined to even try to tackle something like this. So again, um, while it's bolted to the frame of the car, take this connection off, unbolt it, pull it down a little bit, okay, to where you can get your hand on the filter like that with your fingers. Take your other hand, you're going to have to do, kind of get your hands up in there, pull into the filter, depress this, pop it out.